Okay, cool. I'm happy to actually open it up. One, I want to just thank you so much for serving. Really, God bless you. Uh, thank you for, for, for feeling called to serve and for choosing to do so. And, and, um, and uh, I'm really inspired by it. I think, it's, I think that it's probably some of the best skills that you can ever get that a lot of people don't necessarily know how to articulate it. And in Israel, one of the things that they're very good at doing is they're very good at getting a sense of, of what, what unit somebody served and they really automatically know what this person's skill set is, what their talents are, what their abilities are, what they're capable of. And in the U.S., a little bit less so. It's something that needs to be articulated through, I feel like, examples and through explaining to people what, what you got from it. Uh, I'm originally from New York, by the way. Um, that's, where I, that's where I grew up. My wife and I moved to the startup nation of Israel about eight years ago. I was just inspired to be there. I felt it was a place where uh, between entrepreneurship and between people who, like yourselves, are just very passionate for a cause, they're very dedicated, I felt it was a place that would be just an amazing place to live. And uh, I met my partner, Ronan, uh, Ronan, who served in the Army. I actually moved there when I was already older than 26. And in Israel, if you're already older than 26, they declare you an old fart and they don't let you serve. So I didn't have that, uh, I didn't have that chance. But one thing that, that was inspiring when, when, when I read The Startup Nation is you really just get a sense of, man, what an incredible skill set you have. What an incredibly valuable skill set you have. The fresh biz game that we have, that we pretty much travel the world training people in the development of entrepreneurial thinking through a game-based experience, takes people through a process of learning how to spot opportunities, learning how to focus on what their goal is, how to have a good game, how to be able to play the game of competition, I'm sorry, how to play the game of uh, collaboration versus competition, and how to help people think just in a different way, how to be able to really discern how to bring value and connect the dots. And uh, we live in a society where it's just it's so easy to be able to collect the dots, which I feel like we do through a lot of connections on different social media. And then the goal is to learn how to get really good at then connecting those dots that you've collected. And um, you know, just to, just to share with you, um, one of, one of the powerful questions that we ask people is we say, what game are you playing and what does winning look like for you in life? You know, and it gives people a chance to sort of discern what their unique calling is to do in the world, right? So for some people, it's, you know, their calling is I'm playing the game of impacting society. I'm playing the game of, of, uh, of helping uh, Facebook, of helping the world be more connected on social media or LinkedIn, helping professionals connect online. What game are you playing? What does winning look like? And I. I can't think of anyone more more than you who are veterans who really get a sense of what a mission looks like and what skills you have and how to play team and how to really rely on your partner that is essentially that this is someone of value. And um, the book, The Start of Nation, what's so inspiring about it, and if you haven't read it yet, I really encourage you to read it. It's really an awesome book. It's very easy to read. It flows like a Malcolm Gladwell book or like this new book called The New Entrepreneurs by two good looking people. It flows really nicely also. Um, but it's a book that really just gives a sense of wow, you know. Essentially, when 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 uh, essentially when you're part of a unit, when when you're part of a team like that, you really get a sense of what you have to work with. You get a sense of what a mission looks like, and, and it's just some, some, you know something to really focus on achieving to the very end. And uh, I want to just give you a sense to hear from Ronan, who had a chance. Ronan was actually someone born with a heart defect, and uh, that's that's a life story in and of itself. And he overcame a lot of odds to be alive today. And um, he's someone, you know, just to, just to give you the proper context yeah. before you go, was someone who, when it came time, when he was of age, they, they said, hey, you don't have to serve. And Renan was someone who said, there's no way that I'm not going to serve, so I'll serve to the best of my ability, maybe, maybe not doing combat, but maybe, you know, I'm into programming, I have a different skill set, just let me know how I can serve, and he did it anyways. And uh, so this is someone who's really passionate, he's got a lot of integrity, and uh, he's actually the creator of the game that's allowed us to take this message of entrepreneurship around the world. So I'm going to let you have a chance to hear from Renan also. Thank you. So, yeah, as Simple said, um, I was born and raised in Israel, and the army is part of everybody's lives in Israel. Everybody goes to the army, the guys go for three years, and the girls go for two years. So basically, this is part of your life path. It's like, you got to do it. And, and this is also why I chose to, to actually do it, although I could have pass it on and just uh, move forward and just go to college or whatever and just kind of gain three years ahead of anyone else. Um, but I knew that the military experience is, uh, is very important and it doesn't matter what you do in the military because um, few things are happening to you in the military and I, I'm sure you know that. First of all, you, you mature by 20 years or so. Like, I see, I see young people 
all over the place because we, because we go all around the globe and at 21 years old in Israel is totally different from anywhere else around the globe because those three years of going through, through military service um, because you get the sense of of responsibility you get the understanding of what it means for other people's life to rely on you now most people around the globe doesn't hold that responsibility that if you don't do your job the way you should do your job someone at the end of the line it could be the guy next to you if you're in a combat now or it can be someone down the line if you're in charge of uh, making the car go or you're in charge of uh, making the weapon uh, shoot could lose his life if you're not doing this uh, your job the way you should do. Um, so that sense of responsibility really builds um, builds character. And, and and although I didn't have to serve in the army, I went to uh, uh, to officer course and, and I had my own you know gun and I had my I got everything that I uh, that I needed just to go through the entire uh, experience and take part of whatever I needed to to take part of. And the startup nation talks about a lot about the fact that the the Israeli startup scene is so strong because of the army. Now, part of it is because few people in the Israeli army are working on the most advanced technologies out there. Uh, we got some really smart people there. And, and just because we live in a very specific situation, we got to be at the top of the top of the whatever happens uh, in the Middle East. And we develop a very uh, sophisticated technology solutions for the military and of course those people take that uh, knowledge and those skills and they put it into um, into implementation in building tech startups uh, but it's only one part of it but because out of uh, let's say I don't know 2.5 million people now in Israel that already been through the through the, through the army let's say 5,000 to 8,000 really served in those high tech um, units and that's not the full explanation and I think that the full explanation is that first of all the, se the sense of responsibility and the ability of being able to be a part and depends on your um, on your role in the army but to manage big systems which a lot of young people don't have I don't know if you uh, commanded over other people or but this is a skill that you need to know how to uh, communicate to wherever you are going but whether if you start a business or you go to find a job you have a set of skills that no one else had because they you just didn't have the chance to command or not now commanding is anyone here was a commander yes. had other soldiers under him and he had to okay well <clears throat> that's a difficult job because they don't do it because of the money <laughs> They just do it because they know they have to do it, but it's up to you to really motivate them to do it. And it's, it's up to your character to make them actually believe in the mission and be part of the mission and, and give 100% of the mission because there are some situations that you can't just give 50%. You gotta give 100%. If you're not giving 100%, then it's the end of the game. Um, so that's a very important skill. Now, one more thing that happens in the army is that you get to work with people that are in your level of um, uh, knowledge, of your level of um, commitment, of your level of um, um, responsibility. You get to share experiences with people that went through a journey. Now, what happens in Israel that once you get out of the army, you keep spending time with those people. So your peers stays very quality peers because you all hold the same sense of um, mission driven and, and the set of skills that you got. Um, and I've been in a, one of Tony Robbins uh, seminars about two years ago and he was talking about the fact that uh, the military in, um, in, in the US, they asked him to come and Talk to the um, talk to the soldiers because they found out that once soldiers are getting out of the army, they become veterans and they go into the work um, environment or works 
Um, the results drops dramatically from what they used to do in the army. And they, they really wanted to research that and to understand why is that happening. And after really studying this, they came to the understanding that the thing that causes this drop of energy and, and results is because those people are now in an environment that doesn't require the same level of commitment as before, so they just drop the energy. Because the other people that they are in touch with never went through the experience. So just just as, you know, out of high school, they are into, you know, college partying, they, they don't have the sense of what it means. And then you just level up with all those other people that have, I don't know, 50% expectations or 60% expectations from life. And what they basically created is, is a form of way for veterans, for veterans um, to stay in touch with each other and look for people that are in the same level of commitment and same level of responsibility so that can keep you going with a good energy and good responsibility and, and good skills. And I think this is the major part of the Israeli startup scene success because everyone starts from here. So you got nowhere to drop to. Um, now you do, and you have to keep hanging with the right people. You need to be engaging in the right conversations. You need to be engaging in the right activities to keep that level of, um, of commitment, of responsibility, of uh, mission driven. And, and I think that's the most important skill that you are bringing to anywhere you're going. Because you can be those guys who keeps the, the level up. And you can show people what being mission driven is really all about and what being commitment to something is all about and what team play is really all about because you can't win a war by yourself. Um, I, so that's it, I think. That's, that's my tip for you. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. If I could just give, a, give a one more thing, which is um, just something, I guess, as a tangible takeaway, too. Uh, one of the people that we interviewed in the book is someone named John Levy. And John Levy runs Influencers Dinner in New York City. And Influencers Dinner is an opportunity where he connects 12 of the most incredible people in different industries, and he has dinner with them. And nobody says who they are for the first couple hours that nobody can have their status get in the way of great communication. And he said that the reason why he did it is because he took a course that was called the Wisdom Course. And it was, it was all about if you want to live a great life, you want to, one, have great quality conversations, two, with great quality people. And if you just listen to what you're saying to people and what they're saying back to you and what the people around you are saying to each other, that's literally the barometer of how you can gauge your life. And just to, just to piggyback off what Ronen said, the ideal is to be able to find people that speak the language that you speak. And what I mean by that is, if you're not on LinkedIn, is, is everyone here on LinkedIn? Some of you? So what I would encourage you is get on LinkedIn, create a really good profile for yourself, and really, really use your military experience and just list the incredible skills that you develop from there. And I just want you to know that you can literally connect with some of the best people around the world that work for very big companies or work for whatever that have that shared military experience. And then as opposed to having to start from scratch and just try and articulate what you have, you're already speaking to someone who's literally a top dog that you connect with on LinkedIn that there's already a camaraderie, a brotherhood, a fraternal sort of relationship that you can already be in a shared conversation. I feel like that's exactly what Renan said. That's how you can keep on being extraordinary and not fall back to sort of the mediocrity that a lot of other people tend to live their life and no judgment, it's okay, but the deal is just to keep the extraordinary level, you know, level up by being great quality conversations with great quality people using different platforms like LinkedIn.